So let's aggregate some duration data. Duration data is taken for behaviors that have a distinct beginning and end. So what we're looking for when taking duration data is how long a student is engaged in a certain behavior. For example, how long a student is out of their seat, how long a student is out of the room, the amount of time spent crying, reading, writing. In this case, the teacher was looking to take data on a student's on-task writing behavior. And it was defined as putting the pencil on the paper to form words, looking at the paper, or reading the student's own writing during daily writing activity. First, we're going to put in the dates. So as you can see, we're starting on December 3rd, and we're taking data for three weeks. So I'm going to do the first week, two, three, four, five. Our next date is the 10th, that Monday. So I'm going to click on the bottom and just kind of drag two, three, four, five. And the last week starts on the 17th. I'm going to click on the bottom corner, two, three, four, and five. So let's go ahead and put our data in, in minutes, and I'm going to highlight the information so I can put in my graph. So I'm going to go to insert, and I'm going to do a graph here, and you can see that we've got our weekends in there. So we want to make sure that we take those out. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the dates so I get my format axis. If I didn't see these axis options at the bottom, I would click on this, but it did give me my axis options right away. And I'm going to choose text axis. And as you can see, it gets rid of those dates that were weekends, okay? I'd also like to add a couple of labels. So I'm going to click this plus button. And I'd like to have access titles. So I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to go ahead and change this y-axis to say duration in minutes and I'll change this access title to say date. So now we have a nice visual that shows us our duration of writing in minutes. I could also change my chart type. So I'm going to click on my graph twice and go up and choose change chart type. And I get a choice of many graphs, but I'm going to choose a line graph with markers. And OK. And here's yet another way to look at our data. If I'd like to get an average of the minutes, I can click down below in cell 21 down here. And then I can go up to the top and choose the FX insert function. And it actually has average at the top. So I'll click OK. And I'm going to click on the cells that I want an average of. So 6B, and I'm going to hold down my Shift button and click on B20 and click OK. And as you can see, 
my average number of minutes is three.